ericmwadethmother.com. Let's take a look here at a good example for the power of negative divergence. And here I'm talking about just not any negative divergence, but one of the most powerful, if not the second most powerful negative divergence. And that is when we see a stock try to make a move to fresh highs. This is a monthly chart, so fresh highs on a monthly closing basis. But take a look at what the RSI did here. In trying to move to new highs, the RSI failed to move above 69.1. And it is this signal here, this type of negative divergence, where the RSI fails to move above 69.1, that is the more telling of the intent. And you can see what happens is after that failure on the RSI, the price drop is significant. And again, the key to this is the type of negative divergence. We see an improvement on a month-to-month -month closing basis, but the RSI fails to move above 69.1. That's the key right there. This failure to move above 69.1 during these highs, that type of negative divergence is the second type of strongest negative divergence. Now, in this particular example, we also see that this is also confirmed by the fact that the MACDs also were making a push to lower highs. So we can see that that high in 2007 led to a massive plunge based on those negative divergences on the MACD and on the RSI. The key here, though, is the RSI's failure to move above 69.1, which is the second strongest negative divergence. The other, the best and the most powerful negative divergence is when we have a push to new highs, but the RSI fails to move above 61.8. You can search for this on my, YouTube, on my YouTube channel for videos discussing this type of negative divergence. This video is pretty much talking about the power of negative divergence when there's failure to hold above 69.1. Eric Moore with mother.com. As always, good luck, peace, and blessings. E-S-E-S. Woo!